again, my divot was well behind the six. Uh, back at about the, the one, it started there. So you can definitely tell that you're doing something wrong when you hear and feel the club uh, hit the board. No damage at all it is done to the club. And as far as the board goes, so where it's been nicked right there a couple of times. Looks like I'm on the inside of the line here, closer to the golfer. And as you can tell by the sound there, that was a fat shot. I hit the top of the board coming down right here and um, my divot started back behind uh, the pro level. So a good six inches behind the ball there on that one. Hit that one fat as well back here at about the, uh, the two mark. So about four inches behind where the ball was intended to be. We are on uh, step five here. Level five on the board. And the ball was here, and I it bounced off the board. My divot started right there, uh, about five inches behind the ball. up of when a hacker like me tries to hit from the pro line. Oh boy. Uh, not bad considering. Uh, good ball flight there. Not disappointed in that. I view that as similar to a mat where you hit that part it's going to just kind of skip through and still allow you to get to the ball and make somewhat decent contact So a quick summary of my, uh, my first test at the range of the compression board is that uh, it definitely is going to help to improve your ball striking. Even when you think that you're hitting good iron shots that may appear to be solid, um, you are in fact possibly hitting three to four inches behind the ball like I am, even though you still have good uh, you know, ball flight and uh, you know, intended target and all that good stuff. But you can tell where my confidence here is. It's you know, pretty much straight behind the ball, but uh, well behind it, uh, unfortunately. So we'll take most of the stuff. We'll just scratch right off. It'll probably end up staying there. I guess we'll find out in time. But uh, thanks for watching, and more to come.